Hello guys, this is Eli with Eli Bricks and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 LEGO Star Wars minifigures that you should be getting or investing in before the end of 2022. Now let's keep in mind I'm no financial minifigure advisor. This is from my own point of view and on how some minifigures might be most wanted than others. This is of course based on brand new condition of minifigures from Bricklink. So let's go ahead and take a look at those top 10 minifigures. Guys, let's go ahead and get it started with number 10. This is going to be the Artillery Stormtrooper. And this one has a new version of the helmet piece, which I honestly don't like, but I think it's okay. Now, what I do like about this figure is the yellow markings going from the face or helmet area down to the legs, as you can see. What I like also is this yellow pauldron, which is what makes the minifigure unique to the set. Now this belongs to set number 75311, the Imperial Arbor Marauder. And this one, it's an okay set, but the highlight of the set definitely is going to be that Artillery Stormtrooper. Now this Artillery Stormtrooper reminds me a lot of this Imperial Shock Trooper, which this one came in the 2016 Battle Pack and a lot of people really didn't care that much about this Stormtrooper until it started going high in prices. Right now, it's being sold at Bricklink for brand new condition for around average eight to nine dollars, which I believe after retirement, we should be seeing this minifigure of $25. Right, let's go ahead and continue with number nine. This is going to be the Armor. And this is a really cool minifigure and a must have for sure. But let's keep in mind that this minifigure, as well as the next one that I'm gonna be showing, which is number eight, are figures that might be potentially included in future LEGO Star Wars sets. Why this is because of the season three of The Mandalorian coming up soon. Now, this minifigure right now is hanging in there for $10, $11 average. I think that when it goes retired, it's going to be around $15 to $20 the most. But if we see other minifigures like this being remade by LEGO, then in that case, this minifigure is going to drop in price. Now, this minifigure belongs to the set number 75319, which also has another cool minifigure right here. So this small set has two really cool minifigures to definitely invest in or just have it as a collector. Next up is number eight, and that is going to be Paz Vizsla. And this minifigure looks really nice, especially because of the printing in the front and how it has a brick build backpack. And we have seen how the brick build backpacks with minifigures, they do well on investments. For this minifigure, I feel that it's going to do better than the armor. And also I feel that this minifigure would not be included, probably more than likely in any other Lego Star Wars set coming up. Past Vizsla is already brand new condition and Bricklink for around 12 to $13, which makes it just a little bit more expensive than the armorer. Next up is number seven. And this is going to be Maximilian Veers. It's found at the meditation chamber, which makes it really unique since it's been out of stock for a while. And this minifigure sells at Breaklink for a brand new condition of $17 average. I believe that this officer should be around $30 to $35 average after retirement. Number six on the list is going to be Bo-Katan. And this is a very iconic character in the Star Wars universe. It's a must have right now before it retires. Let's keep in mind that the whole minifigure is retiring with the set 75316, the Mandalorian Starfighter. This one comes with a good ship and on top of that, really nice minifigures. So with that said, this minifigure, as of right now, brand new condition, it's for around $14 to $15 average, which I think whenever it retires, it will go all the way up to $40 to $45 just by itself. 
Number five on the list is going to be a not that iconic character like the ones that I talked in the past, but this one is a very detailed minifigure. It's detailed from the torso to the legs to the sides of the arms, and that is the Imperial crew member. That minifigure belongs to the set, which is a 700 US dollar set, and that's a UCS Star Destroyer. Now, since this set, it's actually hard to buy because of the price, the minifigures are gonna continue going up and up and up and increase in value. So for this one, it's already brand new condition for $50 and brick link. That is expected to increase even more. And to my point of view, I feel that that minifigure is going to be increasing from $50 all the way to possibly $100 to $110. Number four on the list is going to be the Imperial Officer, which is also found in the UCS Star Destroyer set. This minifigure is expected to do better than the crew member because of the fact that it is an Imperial Officer, which has a unique badge as well as some cool boot printing right at the leg area. This one is actually brand new condition for around $69 in the US. And keep in mind, this is one of the best minifigures by far on the whole 2022 lineup and a must have. Number three is going to be definitely the 332nd Legion Clone Trooper. And this is a very essential minifigure if you all LEGO Star Wars fans want to army build with it. This minifigure, we all know by now that it's only special because of this helmet over here. And this minifigure is selling as brand new condition for around 16 to 17 US dollars in Brickling. Now what makes this minifigure unique is that more than likely LEGO won't be making another one of these 332nd Legion clone troopers. So if you let this opportunity pass by, you will definitely 100% regret it. Number two on the list is going to be definitely Gar Saxon. And this is such a cool minifigure, a must have 100% by any LEGO Star Wars fan out there. This is a minifigure that we might not see ever again. We have seen how LEGO only releases Mandalorian minifigures one time and one time only, and we don't see them anymore at all. So this is your biggest opportunity to get this minifigure right here, which is right now being as a brand new condition, sold for $28 the cheapest this is expected to be retired by the end of 2022 on which we are going to see a very high increase in this minifigure to my point of view i feel that this minifigure is going to be worth around 40 dollars to 45 by the end of 2022 number one on my list is going to be Believe it or not, Moff Gideon. Most of you LEGO Star Wars fans are going to be thinking that Gar Saxon should have been first than Moff Gideon. But to my opinion, I feel that Moff Gideon is going to do better because if you think about it in the past, we have seen some figures like this that are, let's say, Sith Lords like Dark Malgus, Dark Reven, and the Inquisitor, just like the fifth brother, how they have skyrocketed in price. To my point of view, I feel that this one would do the same after retirement. Of course, if Lego doesn't make another one of these minifigures included in another set. So with that said, thank you very much for all of you watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and feel free to comment down below. See you next time. Bye.